Hey guys, Bad Infos here, and today I'll show you all the features in Minecraft 1.13. Let's go! Lots of new mobs were added and some were changed. Phantoms were added, it's a flying mob, which spawns in the overworld at night if the player has not slept for 3 days. They drop phantom membranes, which can be used to repair the elytra wings and brew potions of slow falling. This effect helps you jump further, not trample crops, and not take damage when hitting the ground. These same effect can be achieved by being hit by the new arrow of slow falling. The horse model was changed. Now it looks more simplified so it would fit within the world of Minecraft. The other new mob are turtles. They spawn on warm beaches. They can be bred by using seagrass, which they drop when killed and which also generates in the oceans. They can lay eggs on sand blocks. The eggs have stages of growth and can also be trampled. When a baby turtle grows, it drops a new item called the scoot. Scoots can be used to make the new turtle shell helmet. That can be used to give the player the water breathing effect and can be used to make the potion of the turtle master. The other new mob are fishes. They can now be seen in the water. We have caught tropical fish, salmon and puffer fish, which all spawn in different biomes. If a player gets close to a puffer fish, it inflates and causes 7 seconds of poison. When out of water they die, and you can pick them up as items. They can also be caught in a water bucket and transported to any body of water. The next mob is the dolphin. They spawn in the oceans and can be seen leaping out of the water. They can follow the player's boat and players swimming next to them receive the dolphin Dolphin's Grace effect, which increases swimming speed. They can be seen playing with items dropped by the player and can also lead them to buried treasure. Hitting a dolphin is a bad idea because all nearby dolphins will attack the player, similarly to zombie pigmen. When killed, they drop raw caught. The next new mob is the Drowned. If a zombie drowns, it turns into this new mob. They can also naturally spawn in oceans, rivers and swamps. They can spawn with a fishing rod, a trident, or a nautilus shell in their hand. What is a trident, you may ask? Well, it's a new ranged weapon in the game. They can only be obtained by killing drowned. You can use a trident as a melee weapon as well, but its main use is ranged, especially since you can put enchantments on it. All the enchantments a trident can have are unbreaking, mending, curse of vanishing, loyalty, channeling, riptide, and impaling. Loyalty brings it back when you throw it. Channeling summons a lightning bolt when thrown. This does not work underground or in hot biomes. Riptide launches the player to where the trident is thrown. And finally, impaling basically makes mob take more damage when being hit. And no, I have not forgotten, I'll now talk about the Nautilus shell I mentioned before. It can be dropped by drowned, but also fished out. You can use it to craft the new item called the Conduit. It's essentially a water beacon. When placed in this order, it gives the player the Conduit power, which disables the breath meter and gives the night vision effect. Many new blocks were added to the game. Coral reefs now generate in warm oceans. Here we can find coral, coral fans and dead coral fans. They can be placed on any side of a block. If no water is present, a coral fan turns into a dead coral fan. There are new items for the pet Petrified oak slab. Trapdoors, buttons and pressure plates can be crafted from all six types of wood. Now they look like the wood type you used. Speaking of wood, by using an axe on any type of wood, you get the new stripped locks. Pumpkins now have no face. You can turn them into a carved pumpkin by using shears on them. Kelp is a new plant block which generates in the oceans. When smelted it turns into dried kelp, which can be eaten or turned into a dried kelp block. Prismar stairs and slabs were added. Sea pickle generates in warm oceans on top of coral blocks. They provide light. Adding more pickles increases the light level. Blue ice is a new block. It comes from icebergs, which generate in frozen oceans. Blue ice is more slippery than packed ice and can even be crafted. Similarly now the packed ice can also be crafted. Since this is the aquatic update, many changes to water were made. Let's have a look. You can find or even make yourself 
bubble columns underwater. Place a few magma blocks or soul sand underwater and watch your items fly upward. Dropping items or XP in normal water makes them flow up as well, but much slower. There's a new swimming animation. You can now swim faster and the player is only one block high. When exiting the water, oxygen no longer generates instantly. Underwater caves and ravines were added, along with many new types of oceans. The visibility in water was changed. The deeper you go, the darker it gets. Underwater ruins now generate. Different oceans generate different types of ruins. In them you can find exploration maps for buried treasure. And yes, we have buried treasure now. Shipwrecks can be found anywhere. The water physics were also changed. You can now place water inside of blocks. All undead mobs now sink. So you can ride skeleton horses underwater. That's it for the water changes. Now let me show you lots of small tweaks to the game. You can now change the resolution in game. Vines can be placed differently on blocks now. Chests and trap chests can be put directly next to their double variants instead of requiring a block between them. Placing pumpkins and fence gates no longer requires a block below them. You can now place item frames on the top and bottom of blocks. When large spruce trees grow, they turn all nearby grass blocks into puzzle. New spawn eggs were added for the following mob. Cot, Salmon, Puffer Fish, Tropical Fish, Turtle, Phantom and Drowned. You can now place markers on maps. Squids now shoot ink when hit. Baby zombies now burn in daylight. Four new advancements were added, involving fish and tridents. A new biome blend option was added. Mobs now spawn on top of ice. Players in creative mode can now sleep even if monsters are nearby. There's a new title screen showing some of the features of the new update. When using a bed at the wrong time, this text now shows up. A new recipe book was added to the furnace. Shulker boxes can now be undyed by using a cauldron. Many biomes got a name change. The F3 menu now shows the biome ID rather than name. The how did we get here advancement now includes the conduit power status effect. A new world type was added and it's called buffet. It can create single biome worlds. And now for the commands. I won't show all the changes with them because the video would become way too long. I'll just mention the most important changes in my opinion. When typing commands you'll see a new command UI. Different components of commands will be displayed in different colors. Some commands were changed. For instance, game mode 2 is now game mode adventure. Toggle downfall is now weather. You can now use noon and midnight to the command time set. There's an option to toggle automatic command suggestions in chat. Data and data packs are the other two new commands. Boss bar is a new command. Obviously, it creates a boss bar. And that's pretty much it for the new features and changes in the 1.13 version of the game. I hope I helped you in some way and the video was informative enough. I did not talk in depth about a lot of the features, but this is the biggest update so far and I wanted the video to be somewhat short. If I missed an important feature, please mention it in the comment. Thank you for watching, leave a like if it helped you, and I'll see you in Minecraft 1.14.